Ellie, it's me. I thought we decided. No, 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 you decided. Casey, I'm really busy. <laughs> Too busy to even just say hi? I'm on deadline. Okay, you know I can help you. And I work really, really good under pressure. No, in fact... Oh, come on, Emily. Hey, Casey. What's up? Hey, I... I didn't hear you. I know. Who are you calling? Talking to Emily, I said her name. And why are you even asking me? Oh, come on, Casey. I'm not trying to, trying to invade your privacy. Wait, what privacy? It doesn't seem to me like I have any. Would you just let me be worried about you? You don't even work for Emily anymore, and she is twice yes, yeah, she is twice Wait. your age. So why do you even want to talk to her? Oh, that, that's really good, Mom. It's like I'm too immature to pick out my friends oh, now. Yes, just thank you for the support. Stop it. I know when I'm being played, you're trying to play. I haven't said anything to your father. Oh, but, oh, here it comes. Come on. Well, I will if you don't. You will what? I will throw away any of the clothes I find on your bedroom floor tonight. <laughs> Guess what? You get a reprieve, dude. She's not even going to be here tomorrow. What? What? I'm not? I'm not? Uh, no. Do you think that we're going to celebrate 25 years of marital bliss with a couple sandwiches in front of the television? No, no. I have already secured the honeymoon suite at the four-star Lake Geneva Lodge. Uh, but spa package, massages, champagne, gourmet food, it's booked. Oh, my God. Oh, baby, um, I can't go. What did you just say? I, I, I can't. Mom, do you have any strings I had to pull to get this reservation? I, I know. I, I'm really sorry, baby, and, 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 and I wish I could, and I should, but you didn't give me any notice. I can't just leave town like that. Well, that's not going to fly. I already called the police station to make sure you recovered for tonight. You're not even on call. No, Dad, this isn't about work. This is because of me, isn't it? Oh, uh, wait a minute. I don't like being double teamed. No, and, and I don't like constantly messing things up for you guys. Go, have fun. I will be fine. What is it that you're worried about? You think this kid doesn't know how to order pizza? I've seen him do it a hundred times. I'm sure he can take care of himself for one night. No, no, you don't under understand. Yeah, you're right. I don't understand. We have a lot to celebrate, and we deserve some time away. I know. Let 25th wedding anniversary. Mom. Does that Mom, please, listen. Go with Dad, and you won't have to worry about anything. I promise. Um, please don't let me be responsible I, for ruining your... I, no, no, look, thanks to me, you and Dad haven't been having a lot of good times lately. Please, I'll be a, I'll be a model citizen. Okay, I'm out of here. I'm trying my best out at your time to seal the deal. Wait, where are you going? Stop thinking about me. Think about the man you've been married to for 25 years. It has a point. No, really, listen, I'm not trying to be unreasonable. Look, I know how worried you are about Casey, but the fact is we cannot monitor him 24-7. The other fact is... Is what? I don't want this to get too heavy at this point, but this is not about just one night away. We need to start to carve out some time for you and I to be together. I love being his dad, but I want to be your husband, too. You do. Even after 25 years. Yeah, I do. I do, too. You know? Yeah, I do. So, let's get the hell out of here. I mean, the fact that we want to be together still after 25 years, <laughs> isn't that a cause to celebrate? Yeah, okay, 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 okay. But why did he walk out without telling me anything, telling me not to worry? Why did he do that? Why? Probably because he doesn't want to feel like he's still in prison. All right. I give. What? It doesn't matter what we say or what we do. It doesn't matter if I take you to the moon or Lake Geneva. You're still just going to be there worrying about him. Please, come on, Tom. Tom, don't walk out of here. Why? So we can stand around and talk about Casey some more? <gasps> You, you don't understand. Correct. I do not understand. He's calling Emily. He's going to see Emily. So what? So what? 
It's, it's, it's so wrong. He's our son. He's, he's young. He's got his whole life ahead of him. And why is he so suddenly taken with her? Maybe, and this is just a guess, maybe she doesn't monitor him 24-7. Perhaps she even listens to what he has to say. Well, if there's anyone who would know how understanding Emily is, how comforting Emily is, it's you. That I am not going to talk about on my anniversary. I'm sorry. Look, I know you have trouble. You wish that they were not friends. But she is not a threat to you. She can't hurt you, and she can't hurt our family. You love threatening me, don't you, Margo? I know things about you, Emily. Things that you've left off your resume, things that you don't want Tom to know. Or he would never let you near Daniel again. You've made your point. You're right. What did you say? If I don't push the situation, it will resolve itself. Um, who are you and what did you do with my wife? <laughs> you give me five minutes to pack a bag, and then we are out of here. Well, I'm glad I talked you into it, but I wish I had a clue how I did it. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. When we're alone, I will not talk about Casey. I will not talk about her. I will only talk about you and me. Sweet. <laughs> okay, I got a couple of bottles of water for the trip. Good. Oh, so you're going to go after all? Yep. Yeah, I talked her into it. Oh, by the way, in case there's a note uh, over here with the number for the lodge, all right? Yes, and I'm not calling it. I want you guys to have a great time and not worry about anything, okay? Fine by me. <laughs> hey, Case. You're, um, you're back kind of soon. My, um, plans fell through. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I am. I, I'm your mom. I want you to be happy. I want you to be very happy. Yeah, well, maybe tomorrow. Uh, time out, excuse me. Are we now having one of those conversations that I have no idea what we're talking about? <laughs> yes, yes, so get out of here, please. Go. Okay. No, you're wasting large time here talking to me. And I have a date with a pizza. I left $20 there by the note, and there are some blueberries in the refrigerator for your cereal. Blueberries, great. Dad, get her out of here. Woman, we are no longer wanted here. Hi. Guys, hey, have a great time, okay? Hey, thanks. Are you going to give me any hint as to what you two were talking about? He was just telling me that I don't have to worry. Okay. Let's go.